is our project two for Engineering 6 Winter 2013. Our group name is RZHL and I'm Victor Hong. I'm uh, Zhang. And I'm Hong Li. So our program is going to calculate the total cost uh, for the wind turbine and solar panel. Also estimating the potential solar energy and wind energy for our free city. And then so for this program, we have a GUI panel where the user can got to choose which kind, what kind of solar panel and wind turbine they use. And according to different kind of panel and turbines, we, the user can apply different color to the boxes on the grid. Each time the user click on it, and then the corresponding cost and energy will appear under the total cost and total solar energy and total wind energy. And then Zhao Rong will talk about this GUI interface. Yeah, after all, uh, the user could see the, the result as, a image, as an image, all the text, all uh, a BUM. So they could get the, any information they want like the total cost uh, for the future use. Uh, I made the GUI uh, and uh, I try to f uh, find the three cities uh, picture which are Birmingham, uh, Denver and uh, Charleston. I try to use the same scale which is uh, 200 feet and uh, get three separate for, uh, snapshots for three different cities and uh, I put them into the GUI uh, under the grid uh, in uh, the function of the axis. Uh, uh, then I try to uh, show the black lines of the other grid to separate the, the, the picture into 100 different uh, 100 same boxes in order to let the user put the uh, different kinds of solar panel or wind turbine in the box uh, to calculate the total energy and uh, the total cost. Uh, Victor, uh, oh, I mean, Hong did the sec uh, second solar part. Oh, yeah. So for this for estimating the solar energy and the cost of the panels, I take the area of the different of the boxes on the grid, divide that by the area of each panel. And then because the because the area of the panel is in inches, so I will convert that back into feet. And then after I do that I can find uh, how many panels can fit into one box. And then according to different kind type of panels, there will be different color. And then according to different color, there will be different causes and energy. I sum all that up to calculate the final total cost and total energy. And Victor did the wind part. And to calculate the wind energy, I took the area of each grid and I divided it by the dimensions of each turbine to do to determine how many uh, turbines are in each grid. And depending on how many boxes the user clicked and the color of the box determines how much the wind energy will be. Uh, the color corresponds to the type of turbine that is being used. So some, some, are, some cost more than others. And to calculate total cost, uh, we looked at how many boxes were selected and the color of the box to see what type of turbine is used and summing that total to get the total cost. During the combination of uh, our program, we try to put our three parts together. And uh, during that process, we actually made a lot of pro uh, problems. Like, uh, first of all, I don't know how to put the image in the GUI. So I, I try to uh, go to the office hour and I get some hints from our TA. Uh, it seems like uh, he uploaded the uh, some web website which we can watch a video to get uh, uh, the hints like uh, we can use uh, I am sure and I am ready to let, let the picture 
displayed in the axis and uh, uh, we also made problems like uh, we cannot uh, reload the text uh, information oh yeah, yeah. No, I, who did yeah. that debug that one? so for that one uh, there's a problem that saving the saving the GUI into a text file so I use I solved that by just saving the total cost total solar energy and total wind energy that three number into an array and I save that array into an Excel file for the save text push button after so for low data one after I did that I do a low data one when I press the low data one then it will execute it will read the Excel file that I save and then take out all the take out the three numbers and then use set handle and then our tag name to set it back to our GUI so the user can work on the previously saved data and pictures. Yeah, we try to save every files in the under the folder of the bin so uh, user can reload them uh, whenever they want and later on we will show you how to use uh, uh, our program uh, in the computer. At the opening function, I set go global variable for the area of the boxes for the cost, solar energy, wind energy, and all the counter for different type of panels. And then in each in the quick quick push button, I put the function close to close the GUI. For the build of material push button, I put I format. I uh, use format string to format a list, a text file. And then in the save text one, I do save, I save the one, I load, I save the picture and also I save the, I save the three numbers into an Excel file. In the load, oh sh no, in the, one, in the save image one, I saved the image into a dot png and then in the and the rest of them would be um uh my function for different kind of panels and turbines where I calculate the cost the energy and count how many how many panels or turbines are used for this part? This is a what? Right. So, so so this part is where you I I make it so the user can fill in the box with color and so now I run it. So here we can choose three maps. And then here we can choose different type of panels or turbines and then here they will show the according energy and cost. So when I hit this one, it's a turbine and I plot it here. The boxes become red and the total wind energy was added. And then I click the view of material. I created a dot text file on <laughs> So after I click, click the bill of material, I create a dot text file where the quantity and the cost for each type was listed like this. And then back to GI. If I click the save image, then I will save the dot PNG right here. And if I click save text, I will create an Excel file where the the cost, solar energy and wind is saved and where you can load data to open up the image and load back the three numbers and if you click quick then you will close the GI. End of the instruction on how to use our program and what we done. We appreciate the time you spent to watch the video. Thank you and goodbye.